Face Bunch Studios has announced that their flagship survival game is coming soon as Rust on Console is set for a spring release and will support console crossplay. On May 21st, PS4 and Xbox One gamers can purchase the title that has seen massive success on PC since 2013. As one of Auto 100 other players on the map at the same time, you must gather resources, survive the wild, and either defend yourself or eliminate other players. Starting with nothing, materials must be gathered in order to make clothing, build shelter, and fashion weapons, all of which can be used to survive and hunt animals or others. Difficult enough on its own, Rust is also known for the brutality of its players who, either for fun or for their own survival will usually kill you on sight. For this reason, it is vital that you arm yourself or keep your head down and learn the best times for venturing out in order to gather your own resources. However, as brutal as the game is, you can form alliances with other gamers and you can even build communities and communes where you can live and work together. Eventually, it might come to the point where going it alone isn't an option and you might have to embrace the fact that there is strength in numbers. Reportedly, it has taken so long to port because of the low specs of the PS4 and Xbox One but they have finally done it. It has also been confirmed that the game will support crossplay between consoles but not console to PC. Playing a game such as Rust without experience can be tough and it pays to get some experience in a survival action game. There are many survival games available but some of the best and most diverse include Fortnite, DayZ, No Man's Sky. Fortnite is excellent for learning how to deal with a situation quickly while DayZ emphasizes survival techniques and No Man's Sky is a great lesson in the importance of resources. Fortnite. Focusing on action and teamwork in quick games, Fortnite isn't a long-term survival game but some of the same game mechanics apply. The absolutely massive multiplayer mayhem title from Epic Games is primarily a shooter but survival is key to this game. New players of Fortnite can expect to last seconds after spawning into the map but if you can learn the basics and manage to survive for some time then you will earn some skills for Rust. After being dropped into Fortnite, you need to find weapons, armor, and crafting materials to help you in a match, and playing as part of a team becomes necessary. The quick thinking involved in assessing a threat and responding to it, then actively building shelter and forts on the go will set you up nicely for the Rust experience. DayZ. A zombie apocalypse take on the survival genre, DayZ is very similar to Rust in many ways. First of all, you need to survive by any means necessary and this includes such things as gathering resources to craft weapons, finding food, and hoarding medical supplies. Like Rust, one of the key factors in DayZ is surviving as part of a faction, which becomes necessary as the game goes on. There are many other players all looking out for themselves and while most will join a community, there are lone wolves. A lone wolf is almost always hostile and learning how to deal with these will sharpen your skills and senses for rust as you learn how to spot a sniper, observe your surroundings, and set traps. No Man's Sky When it was launched in 2016, No Man's Sky became an instant joke. Like the recent Cyberpunk 2077 debacle, many features were overpromised and underdelivered, which saw the game flop for years. While it looked like it was dead, the developers revived the game in 2019 and it has made a comeback worthy of the final scene in a Rocky movie. While No Man's Sky is a science fiction spacefaring game it has many similar features to Rust. Primarily, one of the game's main focuses, especially at the start, is resource gathering and it is handled very well. Beginning with nothing and then identifying key areas to explore for specific resources, you will build a small shelter that can eventually become a sprawling base. Even if you don't like sci-fi games, No Man's Sky has the potential to teach you very good techniques for gathering resources and making something from nothing while being very patient. Survival games are becoming an extremely popular genre thanks to TV shows such as The Walking Dead and Rust isn't one of the most intense and realistic experiences available. Given its intensity and difficulty, Rust can be brutal on new players, especially those with no survival game experience. 
While there are many survival games that can teach you a lot, the games mentioned can provide a solid gameplay experience with valuable lessons. Becoming proficient in just one of these games will be invaluable for playing Rust. But learning all three games, Fortnite, DayZ, and No Man's Sky will ensure that you can begin the game with the skills, knowledge, and expectations that will ensure survival in an extreme game.